Welcome back. You're watching KTN Morning Express. Thank you very much for joining us. Let's get on to our other segment. Talk about your money. And joining me in studio now is Waidaka Gatumia from Centonomy. And uh, he has a very interesting view of looking at how Kenyans spend. He says, you're probably richer than you think. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. What is this concept of you're probably richer than you think or wealthier than you think? Well, it's something that I have I've experienced myself. You see, I'm a student of Centonomy as mm -hmm. well. I started off as being a student. I went through trying to understand where is my personal mm -hmm. um, uh, finance, mm -hmm. financial plan. Mm -hmm. Do I even have a personal financial plan and how is it working out? And uh, in doing that, we, we did a, an, an exercise at the beginning of the class mm -hmm. where you are required to write down every single cent that you spend mm -hmm. for one month. Mm -hmm. And it shocked us. I mean, it completely shocked my wife and I. We were just newly married. Mm -hmm. You know, you're young executives, yeah. you're working, you've, you're each getting a paycheck. <laughs> and and the, the shocking story was that we were spending more on takeout food a month mm -hmm. than our rent. But you see, wow. you can't be able to tell that unless you're able to track mm -hmm. your spending. Mm -hmm. And so when we did it, we actually spent time, just every single cent that we're doing, we put all our receipts together for lunch, you know, mm -hmm. over, and then some, the, the takeout that you'll get over the weekend. Mm -hmm. And we realized we were living in an apartment worth about 28,000 mm -hmm. shillings at that time. And we were spending close to 30,000 shillings on takeout food. More than your rent. More than the rent. <laughs> and, and, and that completely changed our thinking. And we were just saying, this cannot be sustainable. Mm -hmm. So there must be something that you can begin to do at that point that will help you understand that the truth of the matter is mm -hmm. you're wealthier than, you, than think. you think. And you see people laugh at us and say, oh, you guys were eating so much. And you know what I mean? And the truth of the matter is you don't know how much you're spending mm -hmm. a month on, on that. In mm -hmm. fact, uh, we were supposed to have this discussion with Mike. <laughs> we had told him last year. And, and yeah. after we had the discussion with Mike, I told him, you try it today. Mm -hmm. And he left uh, the studio mm. after our discussion, went home and he went about his business. You know, mm -hmm. he went for a meeting in town, yeah. went and stopped to pick up the children, did all these various mm. things. Guess what? He called me in the evening and mm -hmm. said, Waidaka, today I have all my receipts. I have spent 2,500 shillings of money I had not planned to spend. He said, I went for a meeting, I was late, there was some lunch, a mm. place, I bought some lunch. I went out, you know, with my kids to the supermarket and, you know, we had the groceries, but, you know, the kids, they said, ah, we want this one, so yeah. I bought. So when he looked through his receipts, he realized, oh my, I have spent 2,500 shillings that I had not planned to spend. Can you imagine if you multiply that, that per day, mm -hmm. 2,500 shillings per day, how much that would be in one year? Mm -hmm. And we're talking about hundreds of thousands yeah. of shillings that could go towards an investment of something that matters mm -hmm. to you. So the truth of the matter is you are wealthier than you think. <laughs> That's, it's, it's, it's a fact. So long as you don't know where your money is going, mm -hmm. you are wealthier than you think. Mm. So, so what, are, what are the strategies that you can put in place to try and monitor how you, you, you spend your money? It, um, I wish I could give you an easy, easy way of doing it. But mm. the truth of the matter is, is you, you simply just have to, we call it spending tracking, mm -hmm. tracking your spending. You simply just have to write down and be aware of where your money is going. Mm -hmm. Now. There are various tools that you can be able to use. There are mobile apps that can be able to assist you yeah. with that. So you can just keep it there quickly and just log in every, every single uh, cent that you use. But my challenge to you is this. Mm. My challenge to you personally okay. is this. <laughs> okay. Do this for one month, mm -hmm. just for one month. I'm not even saying for the whole year. Yeah. From now to the middle of February, mm -hmm. track every cent that you spend, you will be shocked where your money is going. Mm -hmm. One of the other areas that I was completely surprised mm -hmm. that I was spending so much money is on parking. So you think, okay, when, especially when the Nairobi County changed the parking yeah. fees, so now you spend uh, 300, easy, 300 shillings, yeah. just like that. And then you think, okay, now I've spent 300 shillings. Sometimes you're not aware of it, so you'll still drive into the shopping mall, you'll drive into that yeah. block, wherever it is in town, and pay an extra 50 100, shillings, 100 yeah, shillings to CAPS. You know, I'm mm -hmm. not saying it's a bad business, but I'm just saying if you're not alert to it, if I've paid for Nairobi City County mm -hmm. uh, uh, parking, <laughs> then find a parking that you have already paid for. Do you get what mm -hmm. I mean? One of the strategies that we used to use is some of these shopping malls, you know, after a certain period, yeah. they, they, it's a flat rate. So we used to just say, okay, no problem, then we'll go shopping after 6 p.m., for instance. You, mm -hmm. you get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that when we get in, because if you get in before 
a time that the money keeps accruing. Yeah. So it's about understanding where is your money actually going? Mm -hmm. And if you understand that, you will be shocked at how wealthy you already are. The, the problem is, mm -hmm. is that you're not spending the money on the things that matter, that to, matter you. to you. Yeah. I can give you one more example. Do you mind? Okay. No, do. no, no, go ahead. This tool here, this wonderful tool that has changed the lives of many Kenyans, mm -hmm. a mobile phone, we are not aware on how much we spend on. There's a reason why our mobile phone companies are, are always uh, giving record-breaking mm. profit yeah. margins. It's because we don't realize how much we are being charged for everything that we do. Mm -hmm. There's a joke that we always share in class at Antonomy where we are saying, you know, I, I'm sure you remember days before the mobile phone. Yeah. Weren't you able to still have meetings? You know, I'm, I'm I'm shocked. Would. Planning a meeting usually now when you, with your mobile phone, it's usually, hello, how are you? Let's meet at two. Mm. Good. At two o'clock, you call and say, hi, where are you? Mm -hmm. Umefika. And then, Umefika. <laughs> you're not realizing that you're spending cash every, every mm -hmm. time you hold the phone up. And then, Umefika, good. So then you keep talking until you see each other. Mm. I mean, yes, that's why they're laughing all mm -hmm. the way to the bank, the, these mobile mm -hmm. companies. Then the second area that these mobile uh, companies are really, really profiting on our lack of knowledge on our spending is through the, 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 the money transfer systems yeah. that are available. Mm. So we don't realize how much we're being charged every time you send money there, you send money to this one, mm. you do this. You transfer you money transfer. from your bank account to your phone. But to... I must say this, mm -hmm. the mobile uh, companies, they are not to blame. They are a business. Mm. They are in business to make money. Yeah. In fact, we applaud them and say continue because they are really building our economy. Mm. And in fact, <clears throat> the saddest thing about all of this is that they are actually giving us tools to be able to manage how we spend our money. Mm. There are always these deals, you know? There's always, if you, if you pay 50 shillings, you'll get 50 SMSs, yeah. 100 MB, you yeah. know, of data. But do we take advantage of that? Or we, do we simply, oh, we've run out of credit, there's no data, yeah. you quickly go and you use your money transfer system, you input the, the <laughs> you don't even recognize it every day, an extra 50 shillings mm -hmm. every day, an extra 100 shillings. Why don't you manage it? And in fact, some of the best ways to manage this is to, rather than doing prepaid, mm -hmm. do postpaid. Mm -hmm. Because then you're not spending every weekend. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can be able to say, okay, in a month, I'm usually spending maybe 2,000 to 4,000 mm -hmm. shillings on mobile. I can handle that. And you see, you can plan. Mm -hmm. But when it's not planned, you go around the corner, oh, see, 50 bob credit, mm. 100 bob credit. From M-Pesa. Um, whichever mobile uh, mm -hmm. service that yeah, you're using. Yeah. And you will be shocked how much money you actually have, only if you track it. Wow. Yes. That, that, that's eye-opening. But are we also saying that um, most Kenyans are, I, I don't know whether to call it ignorance, but we are lack of awareness on how we're doing our thing and how is it generally affecting us? That is it. It's a simple fact because, you see, without a plan, you're going to find yourself doing whatever feels good mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. and, and the thing about it is, is that in that moment you're excited. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the moment where now you're actually thinking, ooh, that's why in January is a real thing. Because you're enjoying yourself over the whole of Christmas. You're enjoying, how oh, this feels good. Let's go have a, you know, go out. Oh, this would be wonderful. Let's go on holiday. Let's, not thinking, hmm, January is coming. Yeah. I need to pay for school fees. Mm. I need to, and, and there are so many other costs that come at the beginning of the year that we don't realize. Mm. And so when you begin to track your spending and say, you know what, I, let me tell where every single cent is mm. going, and then I can decide as an individual and not let all those people who are trying to sell us things decide for us yeah. how we're spending our money. Mm. That is the biggest issue. When you, when you give over that right to somebody else, the person who has put a big sign on their board saying, sale, and did you know it's whether it's a sale or not? Or did they just put a sign there to, mm -hmm. to entice you to come in? Is it really a sale? Is it a sale, first of all, if you did not intend to buy that mm -hmm. dress? Is it a sale? No. Have you made a saving? You no. haven't. But if your intention is to purchase, let's say, an item of clothing, mm. a beautiful dress that you see, if your intention to do so is to do so, and then you go and find the best offer, then you have made a saving. Mm. But if you go out with the intention just to look and browse and then you buy whatever is coming along mm. the way, then you're not really saving at it because you saw a sale. Mm. No. Make a plan. 
track how you're going to spend and then decide based on what matters to you mm -hmm. as an individual, mm -hmm. not what matters to all those people selling you, what matters to, to you, you as an individual. then you go and spend. And you know what? You will spend without guilt, mm -hmm. which is such a beautiful, you know, in December, there are so many people who are, ay, 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 ay. you know, you're spending, you, but you're not really enjoying yourself. Yeah, you're thinking of a bill, you've not paid. Exactly. <laughs> so you're spending and you're feeling bad, you're spending, no, why don't you spend with joy? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing. If you plan, then you spend with Join, you're spending on things that matter to you. Mm -hmm. Yes. How best should we plan for how we are going to spend our money, say, beginning of the month? Yeah. Uh, what are some of the best ways of doing it? I, I think it's one of the, the, the other topics that we'll be discussing later. But when you're talking about how you're planning for your spending, mm -hmm. one of the ideas that we have is pay yourself first. Mm -hmm. And the way that you pay yourself first, that's what we'll be discussing next week. Mm -hmm. Pay yourself first means that you, you begin to put money towards the things that are growing you as an individual. Mm -hmm. What are those two things? Your savings mm -hmm. and your investments. And those are two different things. Mm -hmm. So we'll discuss that then. But in terms of Today, what the, the, the topic that we're yeah, discussing today yeah. about tracking your spending, mm -hmm. that you're wealthier than you think. Yeah, think. When you begin, uh, like for us, when we realized you're spending more than your rent on takeout food, mm -hmm. we said that can't work. Yeah. So you begin to look for strategies mm -hmm. that can bring that cost down and hopefully that will not have to change your life yeah. significantly. Yeah. For instance, for my wife and I, we're, not both, we're both not cooks. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You're mm -hmm. out busy during the day. Mm -hmm. When you come home, it's not, it's not a joyous thing to go to the kitchen mm -hmm. and everything. So we thought about it. We, we looked for strategies and we found a, a friend of ours who actually had a chef who they pay once a month, mm -hmm. 2,000 bob, he comes on, on a Monday, 2,000 shillings, and he actually puts, uh, he cooks for a whole week, you freeze the food, and every day you have fresh food that you okay. can be able to use. So All that's right. a simple strategy. Hold on to that thought. Use. Let's uh, get to a short break. Sure. We'll definitely get back to more of this interesting discussion, but let's take a teeny tiny break, and we'll be back with more. <laughs> 